Welcome back to the program. I'm Roby Brock. We are joined now by Shane Broadway, former Speaker of the House, former State Senator, former Lieutenant Governor candidate, former Higher Education Director, former, well, no, you're still the Government <laughs> Affairs Director for the Arkansas <laughs> State <laughs> University. Sound like a guy that can't keep Salt a job. Softball Champion <laughs> and now Political Animals Club President. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very honored. I'm you, looking forward to it. You have the same kind of resume as your predecessor in this position, Rex Nelson. We never could get him to keep a job either. He was always <laughs> doing something a hundred different ways. So. See, I, I call Rex the Encyclopedia of Arkansas <laughs> Sports culture, history, and food. And politics. And politics. Yeah, you got to throw politics, and politics. in there too. I mean, all that there, stuff. So trying to fill those shoes, I mean, Rick's a big guy anyway, but trying to fill those shoes, enormous challenge. Yeah, you've lost weight. You're not gonna keep <laughs> up with him on the food front there at all. Uh, well, talk to me about the Political Animals Club yeah. uh, job now. Just to kind of how did you get talked into this and uh, kind of what, what what are you gonna do? Well, Rex offered to buy me lunch. That was pretty much it. Uh, no, I think, you know, when he was going back to the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, he, he thought it might be appropriate because he, he's going to be writing, you know, a lot more. Uh, and so he, we, we got together for lunch across the street here, actually, uh, several weeks ago and, and started talking about it. And, I mean, I've been going to the Political Animals Club since 1997, back when it was a breakfast meeting at the University of Hilton. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I've gone for many, many years and know the tradition. I mean, it, it's amazing. You know, we had our first meeting last week with Congressman Hill, and there were 160 people there. And we probably could have fit more, you know, but you run out of space. And it, it, But it's amazing, the, the tradition of the club that Skip Rutherford started back in 1983 and how long it's existed, you know, meeting pretty much monthly mm -hmm. uh, to, to large crowds. We have over 1,500 on a mailing list uh, and it's just people who are interested in politics you know people who are interested in what's going on in the in the community and the state and the nation and, and it's just it's a great group diverse group yeah. bipartisan group and uh, so it's a lot of fun I'm looking forward to it yeah awesome well I'm looking forward to your leadership there too because uh, we, we attend regularly and yeah. we even do a program you every now and then so it's good yeah. tell me what your expectations are for 2018 elections well 2016 was in all truthfulness, you don't have to agree or disagree. It was a dud. There just wasn't anything exciting or riveting about it. From a state 2014 was huge, yeah. you know. And yeah, then, from a state So now we got 2018, and um, I, what's your sense? You know, it's still early, uh, but you don't see a lot of activity out there. Uh, at, at a state level or, or even a, a local level, I think you'll have maybe some congressional races, a couple, uh, you know, here or there. Uh, but you don't hear a lot of, you, you may have a lot of activity in the primaries mm -hmm. uh, in terms of legislative races because you've got some state Senate seats more up that are up this time. Uh, House members wanting to go to the Senate. So, but it, but it's still, I think it still has a yeah. possibility of not being that exciting in 2018. Yeah. We're either. just post Labor Day. So yeah. it's still it's just, young. it's just people. Now I, I can say I've had several people call, you know, who are interested in running, trying to get my thoughts and what they should do and do it shouldn't do. So it, I think it'll start picking up closer and it's different this cycle. And that filing period is not till February and March, right. whereas last cycle it was much earlier due to the change for the presidential primaries. Yeah, and um, and then we've got all the constitutional officers up yeah. this next year. Obviously, the the four congressional seats, but no Senate race no this Senate year, race. and that'll be uh, that'll uh, be a little bit of a deflator yeah. there in terms Certainly. of and no presidential you know. election. Yeah. All right, so there's three other political yeah. animals clubs in the state now. This one's the Central Arkansas Club. Kind Rex likes the, to say the, the mother, original. The, the, that's right. The, the uh, mothership. But there's one the in Northwest, ship. Northeast, yeah. and now even in Southeast Arkansas. That says a lot about Arkansas politics. It does. Too. It yeah. does. And, you know, I think it's just uh, it, it's amazing to see. I've, I've been to Northwest, and I've, I've got friends, uh, LJ and Andrea, who run the one in, in, in Northeast, and uh, John down in the Southeast. So it's great to see that. So we only got really one section in Southwest. We're going to find somebody to go. Uh, start one down there, we'd have the whole state covered. But it, I think it just shows the uniqueness of Arkansas politics, yeah. that it has had the tradition over the years of, of you know, you think about on the, on the national and, and, and stage, national stage, how much Arkansas has had an influence from, from congressmen and senators to, you know, eventually a president. But I, I think people have a unique interest uh, in, in, in the personalities too, uh, not just the issues of the day and all that, but I think the personalities and the people who serve uh, we still have that, every, although politics has changed in terms of most of it being on TV, social media and all that, there is still that personal touch uh, that people like about political 
leaders in Arkansas. They like to see them at the county fair or the rector Labor Day parade, those kind of things. You can meet them one on one. Exactly. If you want to meet one of your elected officials, it's not impossible. It's, to do exactly. Yourself. If you want to have your picture with the governor, there's a, there's a chance. Well, speaking of all this political history, this sparks an idea uh, with me. I, Arkansas needs a political Hall of Fame. We have a Business Hall of Fame. Right. We have a African American Hall of Fame. We have a Women's Hall of, a Fame. Women's Hall of Fame. We have a lot of Hall of Fames yeah. around a Sports Hall of Fame. We need a political Hall of Fame like to talk that. about all of those legendary yeah. figures. Really going back to the early 20th century, Arkansas has been a player on the national I agree. stage. I, I think it's an excellent idea. I, I really like the idea. And uh, because, of, because of that history, Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like uh, you and I have been talking, I've been trying to find a way now taking over political animals, but I've been thinking about it for a while too, of, of how we preserve a lot of the history yeah. uh, of these elected officials, senators, all the way down to congressmen who, who have served and preserved those documents print, and photos. And, I mean, there's so much yeah. history there. And so I think the idea of a Hall of Fame is, is especially intriguing. Let's do this. Let's you and I, yeah. uh, once this airs, let's let's contact the other political sure. animal club presidents great. and let's talk to Stacy Hurst at Department of Heritage and Kane Webb at Parks and Tourism and say we got an idea. I think they'd be wrong. I think they'd be better very, very interested. In on it? Yeah, I'm in. All right. We'll be Good we'll deal. do it. Sounds He's great. He's Shane Broadway. He is the head of the Political Animals Club, the Central Arkansas one, which is the original one. We're just right. going to refer to it as the Political the Animals Club. Thank you for being here. You bet. Thank all you, right. Roby. That's all for today's program. I'm Roby Brock. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.